What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna be working on a new project. This right here behind me is a 2023 Ford F-150 trimmer that has seen better days. This thing only has 443 miles on it and is absolutely crushed. As you guys can probably see already, it is missing quite a lot of parts and it has some very serious frame damage up here in the front. The frame is actually completely crunched. I mean, check that out right there. That is insane. I mean, you probably have to be going pretty fast to do something like that right there. But it's weird because the front end of it isn't too like crunched up, you know? Usually you'd see these trucks that are super smashed in the front and then you'd obviously know that the frame was damaged But this truck right here actually looked like it just needed a front bumper fender some suspension But it turned out to be a lot worse. I mean this thing only has 442 miles on it, which is absolutely crazy Somebody basically didn't even get a full tank of gas out of this truck because it is a 3.5 EcoBoost I think let's see let's pop open this hood Oh, it's locked but it's a 3.5 EcoBoost, so they basically didn't even get a full tank of gas out of this truck before they slammed it into something. And this is the trimmer package, so you do have a lot of uh, yellow accents with the trimmer. And check out this big old screen right here. That is freaking awesome. Dang, these, I gotta say, these new trucks are actually getting so luxurious. It's absolutely insane. We got the giant screen right there. And we do have this little foldable shifter, which is pretty cool, I guess. I don't know if it's that useful or not. Oh, we got the AC on. Basically, we are missing a lot of stuff inside. The seat's already taken out. So I did go ahead and put this nice little seat in here just so we can drive this truck around because we did slap a gunny wheel on there and check it out. These wheels are super thin and they basically clear everything, which this is basically what these wheels were intended for. And I gotta say, it's a really awesome invention. But let's go ahead and pop the hood, check out what's going on under there. Pretty crazy, the hood latch still works even after being smashed that bad. And check that out, the 3.5 EcoBoost. Absolutely beast of a motor. I got the 2.7 over there and I absolutely love it. But man, check this thing out. We do still have some cool in here. And also I'm pretty sure the AC condenser is good, which is nice because usually when these trucks get hit in the front, it kind of destroys all that. Unfortunately for this one, most of the impact went right into that frame rail right there and made us a nice little crunch in there. And honestly, we'll probably have to replace the frame on this one, which I'm not looking forward to. But as you can see, the apron looks in pretty decent shape. It is kind of just pushed back because it kind of just pushed this whole area. Basically, all the damage is in the front of this truck. If we go around the truck, there's basically no other damage whatsoever. I mean, 442 miles is crazy. I mean, that's like, you don't even get a full tank of gas and you just slam it into something. You don't even get to enjoy the truck, which, man, it really does suck for the previous owner of this thing. But man, check that out. We got two airbags blown in the roof one seat belt and i think the seats were blown off so they took him out already but man i absolutely love the tremors they look good but coming around the whole truck everything looks really good no damage whatsoever and i absolutely i love this white it's almost like an alpine white kind of like my mclaren is which i kind of like it. it doesn't have any, really any pearl or anything like that inside it but we do have all the parts in the back of the bed to basically fix this entire truck we have the fender which is already pre-painted we also have the control arms front bumper and the apron piece that's bent in the front so let's go ahead and get this thing inside and get straight to work on this 2023 Ford trimmer
have the truck inside, I also went ahead and pulled off that gunny wheel right there. Got it standing on a jack stand so we can get a better look at that frame. And I gotta say, I'm actually impressed with the way that thing creased and crunched up under there. That is insane. This guy must have been flying way too fast for this truck's capabilities. But if we go under here and look, I mean, the craziest part is it didn't really damage anything else. Usually when the frame gets bent like this right here, it like breaks everything back here, breaks the transmission, but everything else looks good under here. Transmission looks good. There's no fluid leaking. The truck runs and drives perfectly. But man, look at that right there. That is just some serious crunch. What do you guys think? Can we fix this frame or do we have to get a new frame? I'm kind of leaning towards a new frame because that right there is just not not gonna be a pleasant thing to pull out. But in the meantime, what we're gonna do right now is we need to go ahead and strip down all the rest of the damaged parts in the front. As you can see, this bumper is completely toasted. I mean, it got, it got whacked right there. So we're gonna have to probably get the grinder out, cut around all this right here because you can see the bolts are right there and there's another bolt under there. So let's go ahead and grab the grinder, start cutting this bumper and get this bumper off the truck. So we got a couple bolts off and unfortunately these bolts right here are actually bolted on from the back. For some reason I thought they were actually bolted on from the front, but you can see it's like a bracket that the bolt goes through and then it bolts on from the back. So basically what we're gonna have to do right now is disassemble this entire area right here, get this radiator support off and probably go ahead and just take off the cooling stuff, take off the AC condenser, basically get rid of all that stuff so we can have some space back there to get this front bumper off the car. So check it out, we got pretty much the entire front end nice and stripped down on the truck. And I gotta say, once you take off all the damaged parts, this truck doesn't look that bad at all. I mean, look at the front end. You wouldn't even be able to tell that the frame rail is that crunched up over there. And that's why I like to use Auto A Stat. Auto A Stat makes it super easy to check the history of wrecked cars. Because as you guys know, there is a lot of scammers out there. For instance, this truck right here, if you would have taken the bumper off, taken all that off, and reposted it back on the auction you can make like two three four thousand dollars by doing basically nothing and there's a lot of scammers out there that will actually do that i mean you take one look at this truck and you be like oh we need a bumper we basically need a radiator support and maybe an apron and auto ace that basically lets you see the previous history of these wrecked cars so you don't get scammed so guys we've came to the conclusion that this thing is going to need a new frame as you can see it's crunched really bad right there i mean if it was a little bit lighter and the front apron wasn't too destroyed or this front horn right here wasn't too destroyed right there as you can see it's all bent up maybe this frame would have been able to be saved but honestly i don't think it's worth it i'm pretty sure these frames at the dealer are like three to four thousand dollars which is actually quite cheap i mean you think a frame would be like eight nine thousand dollars but you can actually get these for like three four thousand dollars 
And I think that's gonna be the best option for this truck. I mean, it's a 2024 F-150 Tremor. It's a beautiful truck. I mean, this thing probably sells new for like 70,000. So we're definitely gonna have to go with a new frame on this thing. I mean, you wouldn't even know that this thing needed a new frame. You would think, you know, light, light hit in the front, bumpers and stuff like that. That's why it always pays to go check out the car yourself and make sure that you're able to fix it. Fortunately, this one is a lot more damaged than you would expect. But I mean, we can take care of it. It's not too big of a deal. I mean, I've never done a frame swap in my life, but I think this one will be the first, which is pretty crazy. 2024 truck, I mean, 400 miles. This thing ain't even seen a full tank of gas and now it needs a new frame. But I mean, it's gonna be a pretty fun adventure. I mean, basically just take the cab off, get a new frame, swap everything onto it. I mean, I honestly don't know exactly where to start, but I think probably take the bed off first and then put it on the lift. And that's the scary part about buying these trucks is sometimes you will have to replace an entire frame. I mean, maybe we could heat that up and pull it out, straighten it out. Maybe if it was just an older truck, yeah, we could probably pull it out, straighten it out. But I mean, it's a new truck. It's gonna be nice and better to just swap the entire frame. And I think that's gonna be the best option on this one. So I think the first thing we are gonna start with is removing this bed right here, just to get it off the truck before we actually put the truck on the lift. I probably wanted to put it in there backwards and I don't want that bed to be all the way back there. And honestly, I love this truck because it's practically brand new. So every bolt on this thing is basically gonna unscrew with ease. There's not a single speck of rust on this thing. So let's go ahead and unload all these parts. We have the new fender right there. We got the apron and I think we got a couple more. I think that's the radiator support right there. So we got a lot of new parts for this truck. So let's go ahead and unload all this. And then we'll get to taking off this bed. So we pretty much got all the heavy stuff out of the back of the bed. And now I do like how Ford does the bolts inside the bed. And a good thing a $70,000 truck doesn't have spray and bed liner because that'd probably be a pain in the butt to get these bolts out. I mean, that's pretty crazy. You pay that much money for a truck and they can't even just go ahead and spray it in. I guess they sell these trucks to people who aren't gonna use them. But we're probably gonna remove this tailgate also just to keep the weight down on the bed. So we only got two people here at the shop. And I know these aluminum beds are pretty light. So basically you just need to, I guess, unclip that. And there is one plug down here. So let's go ahead and get this off. And we'll probably go ahead and remove the rear bumper also. Shouldn't be too hard, couple bolts. Just remove the rear bumper and the tailgate. bumper off and the tailgate and now it's time to go ahead and start getting the bed off and i gotta say those tailgates are getting heavier and heavier every year because i mean they just keep adding steps they, they they make them split in half they just keep doing too much but anyways now that that's off the last thing we need to do is take this off right here i think it just pops off it's on like clips and then it slides in because i mean the fuel filler neck is probably bolted on somewhere down there and that's pretty much the last thing we got all the wiring unplugged everything's ready to go and then just grab a Torx and unscrew them and lift this bed off the truck. So we got the fuel filler neck unscrewed. Now it's time to just go ahead and unscrew all these torque bits inside and hopefully they all come out good.
so check it out. We got the entire rear end pretty much all nice and stripped down. We took the bed off. We took the tailgate off. Pretty much everything. It was quite simple. I really do love how Ford put the bolts on top. Everything unbolted. No problems at all. And honestly, looking at this frame, it's going to be quite simple to just take all this stuff off, put it on the new frame. There's really not much stuff. And I did even notice the newer trucks, they do have electric e-brakes now. So you don't have a cable that's going to be running all the way through the car, which is kind of nice. You know, you don't have to mess with any of that. And honestly, I can't wait to get that cab off. And while we were actually taking off the bed off this thing, uh, we did get a guy to come out here and he scrapped both of our old Nissan Sentras that were over here. And we're just doing a little bit of cleanup here at the shop. As you can see, there's really not much cars over here. Uh, getting rid of a lot of stuff. And we just scrapped both of these cars that were sitting right here. Now we got to just scrap all the rest of this. All this nonsense that we had over here, which is pretty good. Then we got to get rid of that car. The McLaren tub is right there. That BMW, got to do something with that thing. I hate when cars sit for too long because you just slowly, slowly start losing motivation to fix them. But now that we got this bed off this truck, we need to go ahead and get it on the lift, which means moving the McLaren. And this thing is just a nightmare, honestly. Uh, the battery keeps dying on it. Well, I probably should keep it on charge. McLarens do tend to only have like a couple days of battery life on it. So we're gonna have to get the jumper box, get this thing started up, hopefully it runs. I mean, I haven't driven that car in such a long time. And then we can just put the wheel back on here and get this thing on the lift. I think we do need to take off these little brackets right here. There's brackets on this side. And then on the passenger side, there is this little step that comes only on the trimmers. It's actually pretty cool. God, probably need to get one of these for my truck. Check that out. A little step. So we're going to take off this step right here on this side. Take off the brackets on the passenger side. And then get this thing on the lift. Because we got to get to work on getting this cab off of here. Start unplugging things. I mean... I don't know. What do we do? Just unplug a couple of things and just lift it up. I'm pretty sure that's just for the engine, all the wiring harnesses. So hopefully nothing's too complicated. It is just a Ford after all. But let's get to it. Let's move the McLaren, take off these steps, and get this thing on the lift. got the truck on the lift now it's time to go ahead and start thinking on how we're going to do this uh, frame swap exactly because on these newer trucks it's a little bit different you know you got more uh, abs lines right here we definitely want to make sure we're doing it the right way and i was actually watching a video and the only way to bleed these brakes on these newer trucks is you have to take it to a dealer it's like 500 bucks for a bleeding procedure 
which is pretty crazy. But I mean, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty straightforward job. Basically just have to find out exactly where all these wires go right here. And I think we can just unplug them and then just lift the cab up. And then looking under here on this frame, check that out. We get a better look on how bad it pushed everything back. Probably went back around probably two inches. It's probably supposed to be like right here, this piece right here. And I mean, that's crazy how it didn't really break. Like the differential, the transmission looks good. Nothing broken under here, which is nice. And look how close it is to that catalytic converter. That's crazy. It's almost touching. So that's going to be pretty fun to take off. But other than that, I'm looking forward to getting this thing uh, stripped down, take everything off. I mean, we probably have to take off this fender right here also because there might be a couple of plugs under there. And then they just disconnect the cab, lift it off, and roll it out. Check this out right here. It is a brand new frame for this truck all the way back you can see this area right here that's basically where it got crunched back here it got crunched right here and there's really just no fixing that frame and it's it's sometimes the better route obviously it is a lot more expensive and it's a lot more time consuming but after we get this frame swapped this truck is going to drive 100 percent straight we're not going to have no issues at the alignment shop because sometimes you do have some issues at the alignment shop especially when the frame is tweaked because sometimes it can actually push the entire rail all the way back and then this one's a little forward and once it goes back there's really no way to pull it forward man check this thing out brand spanking new this thing came all the way from illinois detroit it does have a little bit of rust right here i guess they're dragging it on the floor this thing is brand spanking new and honestly, I'm super excited to get this thing under that truck. So guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. We got a lot of work done on the F-150 trimmer. Basically the first day of working on this truck, we got everything stripped down, ready to go. It's on the lift. Now all we have to do is start tearing into this thing, basically getting everything unplugged and getting that cab ready to be lifted off and here at the shop we've been doing a lot of cleanup we cleaned up the entire lot we scrapped all the cars kind of just want to make it look a little bit better because i mean it started getting cluttered and you really don't want that at a shop because every time you come in the morning you know it's a little depressing but you know what we got all that cleaned up and i mean it's looking good and honestly i can't wait to get this frame swapped out and show you guys the entire process and honestly it's probably gonna be easier than like doing framework because framework takes a pretty long time on the good squads g63 I worked on it for like three, four days, got everything pulled out, and we're still not done. We still have to weld and cut a lot of other things. But that's all good. We'll probably go back over there once they get the last finishing piece for the roof. But anyways, if you all enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, follow us on Instagram at VTune. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.